And Bhagavan says here, what do we do for my devotees? On my own head, I'll carry whatever my devotee needs. Do you understand? Bhagavan says, those who are my one-pointed devotees, whatever he needs, I, myself, I'll carry on my head. Well, but you're such a such an important person. You could put two for for servants to carry. You could tell anyone to carry that on your head, and the, like anyone could carry that for you. You don't need to carry yourself. Okay, you cannot walk onto the devotee, but carry it on your head. But Bhagavan says in this verse, Baham, Bahami. Means I will carry on my head. It's in the first, like first person. You know, I will carry. Bhagavan says, I will carry on my own head. But you're so rich. Why do will you carry yourself? You can tell anyone to carry. Here in this world, generally, the person has money, he'll put someone to carry, of course. But Bhagavan says, no, I will not put any servant, I will carry myself. <laughs> so Arjuna Mishra, he doubted this verse. And he took a red pen and he underlined. Like some things you don't understand, or some important verse or something, you underline and later you can read it more and you can think it more about it. You, do you read books? So when you read books and there's sometimes a special something that you're not understanding, then you can. He has many questions to ask to find advice sometimes when he studies. Grava not sapi. It's good to have some sadhusanga. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. What's up recording? It's good or not? So. Arjuna Mishra. So he underlined this part of the verse. Three lines. Red marker. Using a red marker. How is it possible? But not one. The Supreme Lord are often limited universes. And even a normal person, rich person in this world has so many servants. One person to, to wash the, 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 the dishes in the morning, another to wash the dishes in the afternoon, evening time, another person to do this and that. They come or not to your house? This, in India, these maids, they come for different kinds of chores. And the person says, no, I need to check the work of my maids. I waste my time in managing. I waste my time in managing all these maids that come to my house. It's not even so terrible to wash your clothes. But you need to just take care of the person who is coming to your house to wash the clothes. You have to analyze to see if the person is properly working or not. They tell me this. I don't know these things of family life, but they tell me. How many servants you have in your house? Five or seven maids. So and what do you do? I need to supervise all of them to see if the person is properly sweeping or not, properly washing dishes or not. If I don't do this one day, they'll just like do come to like some person who is actually pretending to work but doesn't do work. So I need to be, you know, like on them, you know, like checking what they're doing. In the Western countries, no one has all these things. maids. No one has maids. Only in India you see this. In the Western countries, the person herself needs to do. The person, our doctor, he's a billionaire. Two wife and husband, they are <laughs> husband and wife, both. Habi, the person joke, like Habi, like a me and baby, like funny words for husband and wife. So they don't have any maids. He himself comes and 
Because in, in Western countries, it's very expensive to keep a maid. You earn so much money and you have to... And the person maybe comes for not so much time, but you need to pay so much money. This is true. Not in Brazil, but... Uh, <laughs> Not in Brazil, but the rich countries I heard like uh, America, Yeah, but Brazil we have maids, but one, one maid. <laughs> <laughs> Not five. <laughs> That's the chain, that's okay. Yeah, yeah my man, boys. Ah, okay. Hey, it's normal, middle Sir, class. Why class. do I hear the English Santawi? He spoke for years Santawi. He spoke for years Santawi. See for little guy. So, the oh, Stoka says, wow. hey, Aham Baham means kitchen is saying, I'll carry on my own head. I will myself carry on my head whatever my devotee needs. So Arjuna Mishnah doubted, like he was suspecting this was maybe not. So he went outside to, to beg alms, and by the desire of the Lord, that day, there was so much rain, so much rain. So he went to many people's houses, and no one gave him nothing. He didn't get anything that day, only insults, like people calling him names. Since morning until lunchtime, it was 2 p.m., just not like now, it's 2 p.m. Now it's 2 o'clock. I'll fi finish quickly. So until lunchtime, no one give him give him even one grain of anything. By the desire of Lord, this happened that day. And a black boy and a white boy. They were very short. They came bringing so many things in their heads, baskets full of things, and they were sweating so much. And the wife of Arjuna Mishra, she was inside the house, they knocked on the door. And she, the wife saw these two kids outside, full of so many things on their basket. And they told, oh mother, today Brahman, Arjuna Mishra, like her husband, he got so many donations. We were playing and he told us, oh, bring this to the house. We couldn't even bring, but like it's so heavy how could we bring but but he told us to carry and we were sweating so much you see we have also even these marks scars on our back like not scars like a, like a, like a mark Precious. so miss ran is the wife of the brahmin you are arora <laughs> <laughs> because you know some brahms like like they're not mishra so the wives like mishrani <laughs> so okay he said rich man and she's shatani like the feminine word his last name is arora so there's like oh arora she's saying arora there's no feminine but you know so mishrani the wife of arjuna mishra became very angry why we needed so many things we're only two people living in our house and why he sent so many things what we're gonna do and she gave him them so much love and affection, fed him. And then it was 3 p.m. When it was 3 p.m., Arjuna was so upset because he didn't get any any donation. He came back, opened the door, and immediately Mishrani, his wife, came out and started saying, "You were Brahman. How did you become become so so greedy? Why did you collect so many things, so many things?" He said, "What? Are you crazy?" Are you crazy? No, no, no. I'm not crazy. You brought so many arms, so many donations, and you put these two kids that were playing. You had them carry all this here. Arjuna Mishra became shocked. Today, I couldn't even get not even one grain from anyone's house. And you're saying this? She said, yes. When black and another white. Where are they? So she went inside and saw that two boys had disappeared. And all the things is in the house, like all the donations, and the food, and so many things. Laddu Kachori, Mohan Bhog. Have you heard his name? So many rice, everything, so much rice. 
So Mishnah offered Rashad a log, said the boys and this amazing fragrance was coming. Not of Basmata rice, within the bowl. Good fragrance coming. Do they show the rice? Such an amazing fragrance. Arjuna Mishra said, Hey, Misrani, bring the Gita. So he saw the Gita and then he thought, that doubt that I had in my heart. Today, Bhagavan has completely destroyed my doubts. Because if you're doing bhajana one point in this, one point in this, I'll tell you honestly, if you put each feet in one boat, can you cross the ocean? Can you cross the river? No. You have to sit in only one boat. You do only one worship, the worship of God. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. So my humble request to all of you. All of you should chant holy names. Bhajan of Govinda. All these demigods and demigodesses, they also worship, you know whom? They worship Krishna.